Hey guys, a bit of a different intro today, but in today's video, I'm doing a shop my stash with a twist. I'm going to be shopping Heather Austin's favorite makeup products from my own collection. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to flip the camera over and let's shop my stash. Okay, so I'm going to shop a full face of Heather Austin's favorite from my own collection. This is going to be a twist on Shop My Stash. This time, instead of just shopping for myself, I'm going to be shopping Heather Austin's favorite through my own collection. Now, we gave each other a full list of products that we really do love and are tried and true and our personal favorites. And we're going to pick what's going to work best for us. I have a full list. I have multiple variations of primers, foundations. Like, we give each other multiple options to choose from. And I'm going to try to pick items that I haven't used in a hot minute. So, we're not going to judge the mess you guys are about to see because I'm doing a massive declutter, but we're going to ignore the mess. Like I said, a declutter is coming. So starting off with primer, she gave me quite a few options to choose from. Um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to spice things up just a little bit because she gave me the Tatcha Silk Canvas. She gave me the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse and then um, this little guy right here. I think I'm going to go with the Tatcha Silk Canvas because it's been a minute since I've used this. And I think I'm actually going to mix it up with the Milk hydro grip right here now for foundations she did say some foundations that i personally don't have like a pat mcgrath foundation that i don't have but she did say i can use like the nars light reflecting and like the nyx blurring tint so i'm actually going to use this it's been a soft it's been a minute since i've used my soft matte foundation but i think i'm actually going to mix it with the nyx blurring one too this is really really exciting now for concealers, she lifted off concealers that I don't have. So I asked her to send me some more concealers and there's only one in particular that she mentioned that I kind of laughed about because I actually put this particular product in my full face of worst makeup of 2023 so far. And it is the Makeup Revolution. This is the IRL Filter Finish Concealer. She loves this concealer. I don't like it, but we're gonna try it out again today. Maybe she can change my mind. For setting powders, she definitely lists some setting powders that I do not have, so I do have to just go with the one that she did mention that I have, and it is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the velvet finishing powder. This is the only thing I have that's the same as her personal favorites, so we do have to kind of just kind of stick to that. Don't judge, y'all. Don't judge. Okay, so for bronzers, blushes, and highlighters, ooh, <laughs> this drawer needs some work now she did give me a list of things to choose through so i know one of the uh bronzers she talked about was like the l'oreal infallible i think i have this do i have Okay, so she talked about the L'Oreal Infallible. I haven't used this in a minute, so we're definitely gonna try this out. But she did give me some more bronzers too, like the Fenty one, Makeup by Mario, and I think one other, but I think I'm gonna go with the Makeup by Mario sculpting stick. I think I'm gonna use two of them today to kind of make things work. For blushes, I have my option of like Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I have my option of like Dior, Lunar Beauty, uh, Pat McGrath. I think she surprisingly I do have quite a few Pat McGrath single blushes in here. I forgot that I do, but I think... I think I'm going to go with my Dior because it's sitting right here and I haven't used this in a minute, but I, I don't know. Maybe I can pair it with something else. She didn't give me any cream, any cream blushes. So I think, I think I should be good. And then highlighter, she said I can use the like resurgence highlighter, uh, Flexterian. I think she said Dior, Lunar Beauty and Kaleidos, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, I haven't used my kaleidos highlighters in so long i couldn't even tell you guys what these look like like <laughs> and the only reason why i even have these kaleidos highlighters is because my beautiful friend Paige had a second set sent to her by accident so she actually gave these to me for me to try out oh this looks like it's a, a colorful highlight let me see yeah <laughs> that's not gonna work let me swatch the other ones okay so these are all highlighters i'm gonna go with this shade right here which is the ray writer <laughs> i'm gonna go with this i have never used this before so i don't really know the quality it's swatched really beautifully i realize that heather loves very beautiful colorful highlighters i not so much i'm not as adventurous but this is definitely so exciting like i said i've never used these before i just had them because Paige gave them to me but i'm excited to play with them 
Okay, so when it came to lip liners and lipsticks, we didn't really have too many that were the same. The one that we did have the same without having to break the bank, because the one thing we didn't want to do is we didn't want to force each other to buy stuff. We wanted to actually shop our stash, reuse what we already have, and not consume as much makeup. So the one thing that we do have in common is the Lunar Beauty. So she said I could use Lunar Beauty lipsticks and lip, lip glosses and liquid lips. So I'm actually going to do that today. I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's like, I think the closest to bourbon and this is going to be shade milk tea. And then we do my try and true combo. It's been a minute since I've done this combo for you guys. I did it in like a full face of new versus old, but I really want to do this style again. Cause like I said, it's been a minute. So I'm going to take my two favorite combos right here. And we're going to create a lip using this. I'm so freaking excited. Now for setting sprays, she gave me a choice of like milk makeup, Pixie, L'Oreal, and like something else. But the milk makeup she gave me is actually this one right here. It's the Hydro Grip one, and I've actually never used a setting spray. So this is something that I get to finally use. This is all my backups so that you guys see right here. Like I get said, this all needs to be organized and whatnot. But literally, I have never used this one before. I'm so excited to have to give this one a go. Okay, so for palettes, she gave me a choice between like her Adept palette, her Heather Austin, her Adept palette, her Resurgence palette, and I think another one from Unearthly Cosmetics. I could also use the Natasha Denona. I think it's down here. I can use the Triochrome palette right here if I want to do so. She absolutely loves this palette, and for good reason. It's a very, 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 very gorgeous palette. I can use this. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pull it out just in case. And then she also gave me the option of using like the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lore palette, which I just featured in my 2023 best of makeup so far. But she also gave me something that I'm kind of excited about, and that is the look at my glam light drawer, y'all. So full. But she also gave me the option to use the chocolate martini palette. She said that she absolutely loves, loves, loves this palette. And it's been a minute since I've used this palette. Like, seriously, it has been a minute. So I'm wondering if I could actually challenge myself to use this palette and the trio chrome together and create a beautiful look using both those palettes. I think I might actually do that today use both of them never gave each other options for mascara or liner so i'm gonna kind of do that on my own but this is everything that heather picked out technically for her full face of her favorites using my own makeup which i'm so excited about so let me go ahead and spin the camera around and let's get, get this look going okay so we're going to start off with my eyes i am so excited because i'm going to be using the glam light this is the chocolate martini palette which you guys can use code allie save you guys 15 percent off with i'm going to go into this shade called bittersweet right here we're going to put that in our outer v kind of blend it towards the center and then we're going to use the triochrome palette from natasha denona today to like help enhance the look so if you guys did not know a couple months ago i want to say maybe like sometime in like march or February, Heather Austin and I did a collab where we did a full face of each other's most hated makeup. And that video was so much fun. We had a lot of fun doing that video and we decided why not do it once again, but this time doing a full face of our most loved products. Now, Heather's like me, she has quite a few favorites. So we're like, okay, okay, how do we do this? Because we both have so much favorites and we're both like, oh my gosh, why don't we do like a shop my stash style video where we shop our own makeup collections. So we're not having to go out and buy new makeup and kind of reuse what we already have and see if we can discover some new favorites. And now some, some stuff we did have in common, other stuff we didn't, because there's some stuff that she gave me like option wise that I was like, oh, I hate that product, but she loves it. It's one of her favorites. And I think that's what's the beauty of this whole thing is because it's allowing me to like retry some of her favorites and maybe see if it switches my mind. Like this, I picked the one concealer that I picked is the Makeup Revolution IRL concealer she loves that concealer <laughs> and i hate it i put it in my worst makeup of 2023 so far and she loves it but that just kind of goes to show you guys that like people do have like it's like that just goes to show that everybody does have like different tastes and what may work for her may not always work for me and like vice versa that's why i think this video is so fun and honestly i really do enjoy shop my stashes because at this point i've been doing youtube um full time since 2020 but I've been doing like YouTube since like technically like 2018. And like when I started off YouTube, I literally had like barely anything. 
barely anything in terms of makeup. I started off with nothing for the most part. And um, believe me, it took time to get to like where I am now with all this makeup behind me. And while I am very, very proud of it, I also am really realistic. Like at the end of the day, like it's also a little bit wasteful too, because I'm never going to use as much makeup. And yes, this is my job, but I also like the fact that I can kind of go through my collection, see what I haven't used in so long, see what I want to keep, see what I want to pass along, see what I, see what needs to be decluttered. It's just a great way to kind of reuse what I already have without having to go and buy more makeup and letting everything just kind of go to waste. I, I love, that's why I like love, love, love shop my sashes and get ready with me because you guys are like allowing me to like reuse my old stuff and also doing like you guys pick my makeup which by the way is coming again at the end of this month i'll be going live on youtube where i'm gonna challenge you guys to pick my makeup looks for me i absolutely love doing that series i think it's so fun it's so like interactive and like to have you guys pick and choose it's just like the most incredible thing seeing your guys's like taste um the first time i did this we had an epic fail of the makeup look but the second time we did this i really loved how my makeup came out and you guys had me discover some new stuff that i completely forgot about and i just ugh, i loved it so I'm excited for you guys to see the challenge that I have for you guys this month because, again, I'm switching it up every single month so I can keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> so it's not the same thing every single month. So next, I'm going to go into this shade called Scarab from the Trial Chrome from Natasha Denona. How funny that this is called Scarab right here. This is such a beautiful, beautiful Trial Chrome shade. I just thought it would be really pretty next to the brown. I think green and brown are always so pretty together. So we're just going to lay this down right here. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at how gorgeous this shade is right here. So pretty. Okay, so then next, I'm gonna go into the shade called Rich. This is from the Chocolate Martini palette. We're gonna go into this gold shade. I feel like, just feel like since this is like a beautiful like duo trial chrome, or kind of goes from green to gold, I feel like this is going to complement this beautifully. So I'm just gonna lay this like right here, right next to that shade. Yes, just like that. I don't, like I said, I don't know how well you guys are seeing it, but like I can see the green gold shift mixing with the brown. So I'm going to clean this eye up. We're going to come back with the other eye done. Then we're going to move into the face products. I'm so excited to kind of like mix and match these because I've never like mixed these before. And I have some products I haven't tried. So I'm excited. Okay, so now the eyes are on, we're going to go into the base. This is where I'm kind of excited. So we have the Tatcha Silk Canvas and the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip right here. And I think she was talking about the original. I don't have the original anymore because unfortunately I did run out of that, but I do have the liquid version of this so we're going to use the liquid version and we're going to use the pro grip version right here so i don't know which one i should go in first i guess i can go in with this one first the hydro grip so it can kind of like really kind of lock in that makeup so i was about to put them back in my hand oh my gosh <laughs> so we're gonna go in with this you guys know that i fell in love with this in the beginning of 2022 this was my go-to it is so so good i love it so much but then i did discover the pore eclipsing primer and I actually had one of you guys ask me if i ever mixed my pore eclipsing primer with the elf power grip i have not but i definitely will do that for you guys because i genuinely want to see how that comp that how that combo turns out but you guys know that i love anything that's going to give me like a nice little tackiness because i am so oily i need to control the oil so we're going to lay that down definitely a little bit sticky and then I'm going to go in with the liquid silk canvas right here. We're just going to go into like the pore filling area very lightly. We're just going to kind of put this right over the pore area to see if we can get that to be nice and smooth. Oh my God. I do love the way that Tatcha smells. Tatcha smells so incredible. Every time I smell Tatcha, I am just transported back to the days when I was sitting in my living room in my one bedroom apartment when my rent, oh my God, my rent was only like 830 bucks. <laughs> the day the day oh my god i missed that but i remember just sitting there and i was reviewing tatcha versus i think origins and i just remember how good that product smelled and i do have a youtube video on it as well of tatcha versus origins and i don't know who won that video i couldn't tell you who won i it's been years but like, i look back at that video and i'm like oh my god the like video quality is horrible <laughs> horrible okay so then for the face she gave me several options but i ended up picking up the nars soft matte foundation and i'm going to mix it with the nyx bear with me blur tinted foundation now i actually don't really care for this foundation by itself i love to mix this with my nars light reflecting advanced skin care foundation i just feel like this particular foundation it pulls a little bit too yellow on me i don't know why i have a neutral base i buy everything neutral with nars but for some reason nars likes to just pull yellow 
I don't know what it is. It's the weirdest thing. So I do usually have to mix with other products just so I can get the right color match. So hopefully mixing it with the tinted blur right here will be a really nice combo. I think the tinted blur is a little bit too light, but I'm gonna take this one, put a little bit on my hand, just a couple drops. And we're gonna take the, take the NYX blur, which is so weird because this is a tinted foundation. But yet yeah, this thing is pretty thick. She's a little thick for a tinted foundation. So we're gonna kind of mix the two together and then let's kind of apply this. Oh, wow, that is <laughs> full coverage. I always say trust the process because when it's around my eyes, oh my God, y'all, I feel like I look like un Uncle Fester from Adam's Family. Like, <laughs> oh my God, it looks so stupid, but we gotta trust the process. Okay, we gotta trust the process. Let me actually take a look of this up close. Oh, I have random dog hair. Oh, that's, oh wow, I'm lifting it with my finger. Okay, <laughs> what do I do? The dog hair is stuck to my nose. Okay, wait, if I take some tweezers, you think I can pull it out? without moving the foundation. Oh wow, that left a line. Okay, nice, 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 nice. All right, so it looks like this actually mixed pretty well together. Um, I can see some spots where my pores are definitely shining through, but it looks like it's mixing together pretty okay. So that is nice, that's nice, that's nice. We're gonna, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it. So for concealer um the only concealer that i have that she really loved is the irl filter finish concealer from makeup revolution and i hated this concealer it's gonna get decluttered but we're gonna use it today because she loves this so we're gonna try this out again maybe my opinion will change maybe it won't but let's go ahead and place this right here fall in love with this the way that she does your little spot conceal right there. Let's see how this looks. I will say I didn't have to go back in. Like I was able to use everything on one swipe. So that actually is pretty nice. But I just feel like all the concealers I've been trying lately, this one definitely was underwhelming to me. It didn't really perform the way I wanted to. It feels like it's pretty lightweight, honestly. I think it even says that it's like lightweight. It definitely feels a little lightweight. So I don't know. We're gonna have to keep testing this out. But um, so far, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty blend onto this foundation mix. But we're gonna see how well it settles throughout the day. For bronzer, I picked two different bronzers today. I picked the Makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick and the Infallible Bronzer right here because whenever I go over my face with setting powder, I do tend to lose a little bit of the color that this put down on my face. So we're gonna use this today. I never liked the brush that it came with, but I am gonna use a different brush. I'm just gonna take this. I'm just gonna draw, I don't remember. Oh, wow. This feels a little dry. Has it always been this dry? I don't remember it being this dry. Okay. It's laying down rather nicely. It just went on really dry. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've actually used this sculpting stick. I've really been in love with like my um, ColourPop, my Essence, my e.l.f. Like those have been incredible. And my LYS. Oh my gosh, the LYS is so freaking creamy. Like I can't get over how creamy that particular bronzer stick is. And I'm just so grateful that I have been doing the repurchase of trash because if I would have not done that based on first impressions, I probably wouldn't have tried it again for a while. But because I'm doing that series, it's forcing me to try everything over and over and over again in that month. And I'm really able to find some nice Holy Goat products. And it's all because of you guys. You guys are making that possible for me. Not bad, not bad. The only thing I hate though is I have all this little baby hair. So it just likes to cling to my freaking face. It is the most annoying thing. Okay, so before we go in with the powder bronzer, we're gonna go ahead and set the face with my setting powder today. And the one that I have sitting in front of me is the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Setting Powder. This is what she had picked. And this is my absolute favorite. You guys can use my code Allie to save you guys 15% off when shopping at NakiaJoyCosmetics.com. You guys know that this has been my favorite try and true primer, I think now for like three years. I'm obsessed with this primer. If you have oily skin, this is gonna be for you. So this is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love this setting powder. And I think I, I'm on my like fourth or fifth one at this point now, I can never just get enough of it. I just, I have to have this with me everywhere I go. Oh my gosh, y'all, so let me tell you, me and my husband are doing this new thing. We're doing 75 hard. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before, but it's like where you do a workout for 75 days straight, but it's not just a workout. It's also like a diet change. It's like a, a mental challenge. So you're supposed to drink a gallon of water every single day, which I already do. You're supposed to stick to like a certain diet. You're supposed to read 10 minutes a day, which 
I already do. And then you're supposed to do a 45 minute workout outside and then a 45 minute workout inside. So because it's really hot here in Florida, we've been doing our workouts at the pool and I've been loving it so much. But I also realized that like I... My, my my girls must have grew just a little bit. <laughs> also, because I put on a little bit of weight. But my girls must have grew a little bit because I had to go buy a new swimsuit top the other day. Because we were at the pool yesterday doing laps. And I... Um, I'm going to go in with this powder right here. I realized when, I, when Corey grabbed me just to start having fun towards the end, he lifted me up and he threw me... Like, he picked me up and, like, threw me in the water and, like, came down. And my top went boop, boop. <laughs> boop boop and titties just popped right on out and I was like oh, oh we gotta go get a new top no I always wore like an extra small top but I you know I'm not 25 26 anymore <laughs> I could buy a different top so it could actually fit me and not have my little girls go popping out <laughs> and you know what's really embarrassing is that we were not alone at the pool yesterday when this happened. We were not alone. My old like leasing consultant, the person who like moved us into this apartment still lives here, even though they don't work here anymore, they work somewhere else, was sitting over on the chair with his wife and he was looking over at us and I waved right before Corey popped me out of the water. And no lie, I swear I saw his face go, you know what I mean? Like, you're welcome for the show. You're welcome for the show, buddy, because <laughs> I charge a lot for that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I just literally was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Like we literally left the pool and I made Corey take me to Target because I was like, I am so embarrassed right now that this man just saw my little itty bitty titty committee moment. And it was embarrassing. Okay. So now that, that bronzer is on, it looks really pretty. It definitely is bronzing up the face. I, you know, I don't know if I have any thoughts on this bronzer. It's just laying down really, really nicely. So I'm just going to kind of go over back with a brush really fast. Just make sure everything is nice and blended, blended, blended. Now for blush, I picked the Dior. This is the Rosy Glow blush right here. I know that she really loves this. This, this little tiny freaking thing is 40 freaking bucks, man. That's expensive for this. This better like, I, I need to get more use out of this because I spent... I spent $40 on this. Why did I do that? Uh, why? I, I mean, I know why I did it. Um, I did it because of FOMO. I had a fear of missing out. Everybody raves about this damn freaking blush. And I was like, well, shit, now I got to get it too. And I realized I like never really use it because, well, why don't I use it? I, if I can't, I'm calling myself out. I buy myself something like this. And if it's like nice and luxurious, I get too scared to use it like my La Mer powder and like my Chanel foundation that you guys saw me using, right? And recently in a video, I've always been so scared to use it because I just feel like it's too expensive for me to use. And then I'm like, that is just so counterproductive. That's so stupid. The point is to use it. Well, I'm just going to buy it and just let it sit in my collection going, mm, it's so pretty. You know what I mean? Like, no, I need to start using things. I need to start using things. And I just, I got to step up. All right. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Kaleidos. This is in the shade called Raid Rider. Ray Rider. And this is like a really pretty like champagne color. I realized I don't have like any normal like Kaleidos highlighters. I just have like really fun like colorful ones that I just don't want to wear with this look. I like a more simple highlight like this. Something I could wear like every single day. And this is like really pretty. Like holy crap. But I know Heather really loves to have her like colorful highlights, which I commend her for because I feel like I can never like pull them off successfully, but I feel like she can, but she also has like a really beautiful like skin tone color that I freaking love that I feel like she can pull off any like colorful highlighter. Like there's no tomorrow. All right, so before we finish my eye look, before we finish, before we put on mascara and whatnot, we're going to finish off the eyes. So I'm going to go into the chocolate martini. I'm just going to go into the dark chocolate to lay against my waterline. So I'm just going to throw on some mascara. I'm not going to do any lashes today just because I really don't feel like putting on lashes. But I think what I'm going to do is that normally I would go in with like a white liner or a black liner. Instead, I'm going to go in with like a maybe a green or yellow eyeliner to like enhance this eye look. I'm going to try to, you know, branch out out of my comfort zone. You guys seem to really enjoy when I use different colorful eyeliners. So I'll make sure I use something a little bit different today. We're going to come back to do the lips and finish off the rest of the face. So I'll be right on back. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to go into this ColourPop. Liner, this is in the shade called, I think Creed Crest. 
Ooh, I don't know. The words kind of blend together. It's like a really bright, like neon yellow. And we're going to use this to line my eyes today. I want to like start using more of my colorful liners. You guys seem to really like it. If I can find this shade on ColourPop's website, I'll make sure I link it down below. Cause a lot of you guys have been asking me where I've been getting my eyeliners from and I get them from the ColourPop website, but not every color is still there. Normally I got all my colors from mystery boxes. And I also bought like that huge, like colorful gel liner pack. I, I don't know how much it is. But I can link it down below. You guys can like literally get a full range of colorful liners down there. I love them. They're so inexpensive. They're so creamy. They last you guys all day. Now I will say they do break super, super easily because they are so creamy. But it's also why they're so affordable. I think they're like anywhere between like six to eight dollars a piece, which really isn't bad compared to like other high end brands that charge like twenty dollars for their eyeliners. Oh, I, oh, I really like that. Okay, okay. So to finish off the eye, like we're gonna go back into this palette once more. This is where we're gonna go into the shade called Vanilla Vodka and we're gonna use this as our inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then we're gonna go finish off the lips. So far, I'm kind of liking everything that Heather picked out for me, minus the concealer. I'm still not the biggest fan of the concealer, but everything else I'm actually really enjoying. Like I never would have thought to pair the liquid silk canvas with the hydro grip. I never would have thought to pair the um, NARS soft matte foundation with the blurring tint from NYX like who would have thought to like really like pair those together but I'm kind of enjoying that like I decided to not just use one but use several products it's making it like a lot of fun I also really like the fact that I did I did pair the Glam Light and the Natasha Denona like it's been so long since I've used both these palettes and now I'm just like oh my god I forgot how pretty they are so this is what I mean this is why I'm doing a declutter in my series because I really want to like Kind of go through my makeup and like start to weed out what i never use rediscover old products i haven't used in a long time like uh so for lips we're gonna go into a combo that i used to be so obsessed with the only thing that's gonna be new is the lip liner i'm gonna be using the lunar beauty lip liner in the shade milk tea or milk yeah milk tea you guys can use code ally save you guys 10 percent off of lunar beauty but we're gonna use this today to line our lips then I'm gonna do one of my favorite combos and it's been so long since I've done this. I'm gonna go with this shade called Zaya right here. We're gonna fill our lips in. This is my, this is my go to combo. I think all of like 22 and 21. So let's try this out. It's been a minute. Okay, then we're gonna go into the shade called Perfection and we're gonna fill it in the center with it. Like so. We're gonna tap it out with our finger. Then we're gonna take the Celine gloss right here. I usually use Celine or Starlight, but I have Celine right here. We're gonna put this right on top. Look at how pretty this gloss is, ready? Y'all. Okay, and then to finish off the look, we're gonna go into the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I, like I said, I've never used this setting spray before. I had this because they sent it to me in a PR box a while back, but I've never actually used this. Let's try this out for the first time. Not bad guys so this is the final look let's go ahead and zoom you guys on out okay guys so this is the final look i think the makeup came out really really beautiful i kind of paired things together i never thought about pairing together and i'm really impressed with how this makeup look turned out i only tried two new products today and that's the ray rider from kaleidos i think the highlighter is super super pretty definitely gives you like a nice wet shine nice little glean i think it looks really really pretty on the skin and then i also got to try out the grip set refresh shedding spray i've never used this before so i'm really kind of curious to see how well this works out i'm probably gonna keep trying this out because it is a first impressions for me along this highlighter but everything else i've definitely already played with before in the past and i really do enjoy most of these items individually on their own but definitely pairing them together was a lot of fun i think the makeup look came, came out really pretty which is so far different from the last time we did this last time i did this i hated my makeup look but today i actually really really do enjoy it i think it's really pretty i think mixing these two together was a really beautiful combination you have in the mix of smoothing and gripping at the same time i think that the nars and the blurring tint nyx kind of paired really well together which i was not expecting but it's a beautiful color i'm not too yellow i think it just mixed very well together very full coverage the makeup revolution concealer i still not a fan of <laughs> i'm just still not a fan of like i did really like mixing the l'oreal infallible and the makeup by mario i feel like it was just a beautiful soft bronzy glow really enjoyed that this Dior blush, I have issues apparently because I have this blush and I just, I bitch about it because it's $40. I'm like, why would I ever spend the money on it? And then I try it out. I'm like, oh. 
that's why that's why because it's gorgeous it's a really really gorgeous blush i need to use this more i'm really excited that i finally got to use like i said the kaleidos it's really pretty i love the makeup app i love the eye combo of the chocolate martini from glam light and the natasha denona, denona triochrome because it's been a while since i played with both palettes and it's just really nice to play with something that i've had in my collection for quite some time this is my lip combo that i wore for my like majority of 2022 and 2021 i love this lip combo it's my personal favorite besides the other ones i've recently discovered so freaking pretty and i just think that like heather did a really good job at giving me a list of items to try out from my stash overall i really do love the items that i picked out i thought this video was so fun i love the i love heather's favorites and i really hope that she loves my favorites if you guys want to see what i picked as my personal favorites head over to her video i'll have a link down below but i thought this was so fun definitely a little bit of a twist on the shop my stash it's cool to try out all of heather austin's favorite products and kind of gauge it myself and i think she picked some really beautiful products i love what i'm wearing right now i love my makeup look and i'm gonna be rocking this all day and i just feel so beautiful so thank you so much heather for this amazing makeup look but yeah, guys, I, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if you guys decided to do this with your friend. I think this is a great fun challenge to do with your friends where you guys shop your own stash using your friend's favorite makeup products. It's a great way to utilize what you already have. Maybe rediscover some products you guys forgot about, or maybe, or maybe discover new products you guys have never tried. It's such a fun, fun video to do. and just a fun challenge to do. You guys should go out and try it. And if you do, let me know what you guys think. But I have all of Heather Austin's socials in her video link down below go check her out go subscribe to her go say hi <laughs> i would love to see you guys go over to her channel go see what she, what i picked for her and let me know what you guys think and again i'll have everything i'm wearing my face listed down below for you guys but that is it for today's video i believe next time you guys see me don't quote me because i am pre-filming this but i think next time you guys see me i will be doing my declutter series which i'm really looking forward to because y'all already saw that it's a it's a mess she needs some work. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already said to post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel, it's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video